Hello everyone. So today we're going to show you the Wolverine F2D Saturn. First, let me say we are not techie people and this is just a homemade video to show you whether or not this product has been working for us. Like many of you right now, we are under stay at home quarantine orders. So we decided to take on a family project of converting our two by two Kodak Kodachrome slides and digitizing them getting them off the slides onto the computer. We decided to try this Wolverine F2D Saturn. We'd originally tried another machine but found that this one works better. You can see from the box right there over here that it does negative slides, film, and microfiche. But for our purposes, this is just gonna be a slide demonstration just to show you whether the machine works and how it works and what we've been using it for. So I'm gonna have someone go ahead and demonstrate it. The way that you save the items onto this, if you can turn it around for me right here. There's an SD card slot in the back. Ours did not come with the SD card, but some models will. I know on QVC they sell it with the SD card. There's also a slot for the HDMI. So if you have an HDMI cord, there is not one included. You can hook this little gadget up to your television or computer monitor and make it like a projector. You can see the image is projected on a big screen. And then that third cord, the one where the black cord is plugged in is the USB cord. So you can either plug that into the wall to the electrical outlet or onto your computer. So we are using this 100% for slides. So do you wanna go ahead and demo? How this works? Sure, sure. Um, this is the five buttons that you'll need. We basically will only use the power button and the convert and then press OK to make sure it's what you want. This is the slide adapter. Tray, we, slide tray. Tray or adapter, slide tray. We put the slide in. The slide fits right in there. You close it up and push it back in here. It goes right in there. Now you decide which one you we're doing slides, so you use the OK button to get you to the slides. There's the slide, and there's the 135 millimeter camera. So you press OK. And that's what you will be looking at. Okay, so you can see here that we have an image. It's probably from the early 70s, late 60s. It looks like it's Disneyland Gardens, perhaps. It's a small world, something like that. Um, but it makes it completely viewable. You know, this slide was 100% useless to us in its slide format right now. We don't have a projector any longer. So now we can save this slide if we want. Do you want to show us how we sure. do that? To save it, you press the convert button. Okay. And it will show you to save. And it's saving to a SD card. Mm -hmm. Press OK. OK. And it's done. OK. And there's also a program on here. They've got like a built-in program to color convert or color correct, rather. Do you want to show us if you sure. wanted to color correct? You will use the OK button. And it will bring up the different ways to color correct. The different color values. Right. OK. And this is exposure value, red, green, blue, and sharpness. OK. So, and you use the arrow, right arrow or the left arrow okay. to move around in there. So we'll go this way to see if we can darken it. And if we want to make lighter, we'll go in the other direction. If you want to get more green down there, you'll press the OK button to get you down to the green level. And try and make it there. Okay. That's how that will look. If you like what you see, You'll press the convert button and it'll save it for you. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's all there is to it. And you can insert the next slide. And you can only put in one at a time. So we use a blank to help us along. Okay. Yeah, there's no method for moving the slide along other than manually. So in order to get to the second slide, for instance, you need to use a third to push it through. You can see another image popped up right there on that second slide. And these are going back decades. So, you know, for a lot of people, you probably haven't seen these things in eons. And now you have the ability to see them and digitize them, get them off the slide. And some family members. Okay. And there are some slides that will not feed through. They are printed on heavier paper. Okay, we're using, so, do you wanna bring that one a little closer? We're using two by two crotochrome. So if you have a two by two size, which is what we were told, it was a fairly odd size for people to work with. This machine does take them. Um, some of them are thicker and they have a bit of a harder time going through the little slot on the machine, yeah, but they, they get, do go through. They do get stuck in there. Mm -hmm. 
like they won't slide easily. Mm -hmm. So then you can kind of try and force it through or take the tray out and set it in. And if you happen to be doing um, film, microfiche, or negatives, there's different trays included in the box for those. We're just exclusively using this slide tray. So is there anything final you want to say about the machine? It's all, it's pretty, pretty easy to use, I would say. It's straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. Yes. And you can color correct on here or take this and take it to the computer. Right, which we're choosing to do. There's blanks. Okay. You just keep feeding it. It's going to be a slow process. Mm -hmm. It's not quick. You're not, it's not automatic, so right. you have to work it. Okay. But considering there's uh, thousands and thousands of slides, this is just a small sampling of the amount we have. We, like many people, have the trays full of slides and no projector to view them with. So even if you just wanted to sit at home and have a family slideshow, this would work using the HDMI cord. So if you have any questions about this, you can ask. Um, like I said, we've just been doing slides, and I'm not sure how um, valuable we would be for insight into the machine. But if you have simple questions, we can answer them. This is the 2020 version of the Wolverine. It's the F2D Saturn. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.